Punta naman po tayo sa OFW, oh. the Filipino Migrants. Mm. Kung ikay papalarin maging presidente ng Pilipinas, how do you balance the economic contributions of the OFWs and this unquantifiable cost, social cost, that contributes to the destruction of the Filipino family? The ideal is that nobody has to go. That we have enough jobs here in the Philippines na hindi natin na kailangan magbiyahe sa abroad. Uh, unless talagang, uh, not by necessity, anyway. That they can, they have a choice to remain here in the Philippines. May, ma may magandang pwesto, di puntahan nila para mas malaki ang kikitain nila. But uh, we have to be, give them access, the, the ideal is to bring them all home. Uh, if they want to come home. But of course, that we, have, we are a long way from that. And you are very right. You have, it's not spoken of very much, but we should speak of it more. Uh, because uh, there is a tear in the social fabric pag uh, ma matagal na nawawala ang, uh, ang uh, OFW and uh, all, with all the problems that it, that it brings. So, uh, what again, it, it boils down to jobs. It boils down to jobs here in the Philippines. And the only way to bring those people home, to bring our workers home, is to provide them with jobs. Uh, the the 700,000 or so that have been repatriated from other countries, they left the Philippines because they could not find jobs. Uh, now we have to find them jobs here in the Philippines. And so, pat patong patong talaga ang naging problema dahil dito sa COVID. Um, we, the, the original concept of, of OFWs was in the early 70s, after the oil crisis, when the Middle Eastern countries suddenly found themselves loaded down with plenty of cash because they asked the impression ng langis. And so they were, went into a building, uh, a, a building spree. And we're spending, mm -hmm. I think Saudi Arabia was spending 10 to 12 billion dollars in 1974-75 uh, a year on infrastructure. We wanted to take advantage of that, and we did. But the idea was they were contractual workers. Pagka natapos yung kontrata, natapos na yung building na ginagawa nila, natapos yung kalsada na ginagawa nila, uuwi sila. Uh, hindi sila may iwan habang buhay, doon na silang uh, magtatrabaho. Hanggat, eh, unless gusto nila yon. So that, is, that, was, that was the concept then. But we have become so dependent, uh, as you say, 11% of the GDP is provided by the remittances of, uh, of, our, of our OFWs. Let us recognize the contribution that they are doing to the economy and to the country. Uh, marami mga nagsasabi, uh, eh, mga bagong bayani, sila talagang dapat na ma malaking utang loob natin sa kanila. Ngunit, hindi natin sila tinutulungan. Now, they, has, they have just passed uh, the uh, creation of uh, the Department, Department of, migrant workers. of Migrant Workers. I think that is an excellent solution. Because pagka nagkakaproblema ang ating OFW, ang DFA ang pinupuntahan, ang uh, Foreign Affairs, ang Embassy ang pinupuntahan. Ang Embassy, wala namang, walang budget yan para kumuha ng abogado, mm -hmm. para iuwi yung namatay, <laughs> o para whatever the problems they might have. This Department will take care of that. They will, they kumukuha na lang sila kung saan-saan. Okay. Uh, the OJ, baka meron sila yung abogado. The, the Department now of Labor. The, yeah, now the Department of, o, Department of OFW will institutionalize that.